Hello viewers, today we'll be interviewing Jack Yabsley from Saturday Disney in Glenmore Public School Library. Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I love my job. I've got, I think I've got the best job in, in, uh, in the world because I get to go out and have fun and meet guys like you and, and then we also get to meet like pop stars and all sorts of like lots of cool stuff to do and, and I like the girls who I work with as well. So yeah, it's the best. How did you make it on television? How did I make it in television? Well, I, I studied journalism at university, um, so I learnt lots of stuff about, about writing and interviewing people, like you guys are doing as well. Uh, and then, basically, I had to make a tape of myself uh, talking to camera and interviewing people, and I sent it off to, um, to Channel 10, where I got my first job on a, a kid's show called Totally Wild. And then, um, after that, I sent it off to Channel 7, and I got my job here. Is it fun being surrounded by girls? It is fun, <laughs> but sometimes it's a bit crazy because, as some of the boys will know, girls can be unpredictable at times, as boys can as well, um, but it's always fun. The girls I work with are, are awesome. They're really funny and, and we laugh a lot. So yeah, it's, it's great. Who inspired you to be a host? Um, well, I used to watch this show that I'm on, Saturday Disney, I used to watch it when I was a kid as well. So I really, I, I used to watch the, the guys on that and I just thought that is the coolest job. And so I, I just, I wanted to do that. What is your favourite show on Saturday Disney? I like uh, Phineas and Ferb because it's, I, I think they're hilarious. I think they're really funny. Um, Hannah Montana, it's a bit girly for me, so uh, Phineas and Ferb, Wizards of Waverly Place, I think that's pretty cool as well. Why did you select this as your job? Um, well, I like, um, I like being silly and I like having fun and, and our job we get to, we get to do lots of, lots of crazy things and we get, to, we get to write and we get to present and we get to do a bit of acting and it just, it was all the things that I love doing rolled into one job. So. I was just pretty lucky to find this job. How did your auditions go when you tried out for the host? Um, well, I was really nervous and there was, I think there was about 20 guys who all auditioned in the same day that I did and I was second last and it was my birthday and so I'd been sitting in this room sort of like watching all these guys come in and, and I was like, oh, that guy looks cooler than me. Oh, that guy seems really funny. Oh, I'm never going to get it. And then I, I just got in there and and I forgot all of this, all of my worries, and I just thought, no, nah, just give it a good shot. And, um, and it went pretty well. Well, obviously it went all right because I got the job. But I had to, um, I had to just take a moment and go, relax, it's going to be okay. And even if you stuff up, it's, it's no big deal. Where is your hometown? I grew up in lots of places. I grew up in uh, a little town called Ingonia, which no one has heard of because there's about 100 people there. And then I lived in Parks, which is in the country, and Coonabarra Room, which is also in the country, and then Kiama, which is on the south coast of New South Wales, and then Bathurst, and then Sydney now. So I've lived everywhere. What other countries have you been to? Um, with work, I've been to quite a few countries. We've been to uh, like Hong Kong and America and... Uh, I've just forgotten, uh, Tahiti and cool places like that and then also I've travelled a lot um, with friends and with my family and I've been to places in Africa and Europe and Asia and, and Canada and uh, Mexico, I just went to Mexico in December. So I've, I, like, I really love travelling. I've never been out of Australia. Oh, uh, not yet, give it time. <laughs> What's the first thing and last thing you do each day? First thing I do in the morning is I um, have a glass of water and I make breakfast. It's not very exciting, but I have to have breakfast, otherwise I can't do anything. And the last thing I do at night, um, I sometimes read a book and uh, maybe watch a DVD and then fall asleep. I'm usually really tired if we've been filming. Sometimes we film for like 14 hour days and so you're exhausted and you just hop into bed and it's like, <laughs> like that straight away. What do you look for in a girl? <laughs> These are the embarrassing questions. Okay, uh, I think a, uh, my perfect girl is, is funny and smart and down to earth and doesn't take herself very seriously. What is your most embarrassing moment on a date? 
Okay, this, this happened to me quite a while ago, but I was talking to a girl and she said something very funny as I took a sip of my Coke and I went <laughs> and sprayed it on the table, on my meal, on her meal and on her. And she just sat there like this and I'm like, I am so sorry. And she's like mopping all off her face. Yes, it was very embarrassing. And that was, yeah, we didn't date again after that. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? Do I have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. Thank you for coming to Glenwood. It's deeply appreciated by myself, Emily, Stephanie, Titter, and Brady. Oh, thanks very much, guys. That was fun. Well done. We've got some gifts for you so we can give them to you when we Oh, thank you very much. What is this? Hippies save the trees. That is very cool. Thank you so much. That's awesome. You guys are great. I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> no problem.